Bearded Hokage here with 60 second review, extended review. <clears throat> this is not going to be a review though. Uh, I just heard that Jason Frank died. This is somebody that if you're a certain age, you're very familiar with. He played Tommy in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series and movie. And movie. Tommy did not begin the series. I don't even remember what season he came in on. But, man, when he came in, he came in like a wrecking ball. They had a great storyline with him. The Rita Repulsa having her own evil ranger, and they made him green. And then it's like, it, it was great, because you never, it's like, he came in as like, I'm a martial artist, martial artist. And it was kicking such ass, man. We loved it. Oh, my God. And then he was like, not even evil, like she made him evil because he's really a good person. And the, the fight between good and evil inside him, which we'd later know would be reflective in his adult life. People loved, the people fell in love with this character. And then it's like, man, he lost his power and it was like, fuck. Then he gained new power and it was like, holy shit. Oh my god. He had the best zords. The dragon zord was the shit. White tiger zord. The shit. And his side weapons were good. The dagger, which he used to call the dragon zord. Come on. Not to mention Sombra, which fuck, he had a, he had a small sword with a tiger on the handle that talked. Not only did it talk, it could like fucking fly around. It was like Thor's hammer with a blade. It was fuck, which they really should have made it more like that. But that who fucking loved the, and the White Ranger suit was gangsta shit. And then it's like, they hid who it was from the rest of them for a while. Man, the Power Rangers was just good. And then we got Tommy and it got better with writing and everything. It just, it was good. Jason just brought a lot to the Power Rangers when everybody was happy that we just had the Power Rangers in general and it was five. And it's like, no, let's, let's, let's have six. And you're like, yes, six works perfect. It's fucking great. It's just, man, Tommy worked so well in this and I don't think they knew that this would just look so fucking good like to go villain to hero the struggle like kids didn't have that in the beginning it was just black and white so now you can see yeah you've done bad things but you can redeem yourself I mean it was Power Rangers was so good at sending great messages to children Tommy was the definition of a great message. The character itself was such a great definition of, of, of a learning opportunity for children. Just fucking phenomenal. And, and because of the Power Rangers show, I started reading the fucking comics, the, the IDW comics. They were fucking good too. I love that the comics kept going even when the series wasn't on mainstream television. Like, bruh, and you know why? That's, some t that's Tommy. Jason David Frank, and then he played so many other. Ra I'm confessing right now, I did not know this man played as many other Rangers as he did. And what's funny is I got the fucking Power Rangers video game uh, on mobile for like a long time when that shit came out. When that shit came out, I immediately fucking downloaded it. I was like, say what? I get to fight as a Power Ranger and we get the Zord suit? Like, the fuck? Then I'll tell you, I fucking downloaded that shit and was playing that motherfucking game. And I had characters that I didn't know was him that he played. What? I did not know he played that many characters. Five different fucking rangers, man. Five. Everybody's just like white, green, 
some of us know Red also. Man, five. That's two more I ain't fucking know shit about. Like, I never knew he got with the turbo shit. I did not know that. And then to see him in the black outfit at the... Uh, uh, and I had the fucking character. I played... I was using him in the game. Um, like... Phew. Power Rangers was, was a thing that was just monumental. And Tommy was a big part of that, man. Uh, he still kept his martial arts thing going. You know, we saw, his, you know, his social media and everything. He stayed on his martial arts. He stayed making, you know, interviews. He still kept pushing the the his brand, which was still like, you know, I deal with stuff. We all deal with stuff. But martial arts help me get through stuff. You know, it can help you. It just... <sighs> you know, he used martial arts to, to, to fight through his depression. And he was like, you can... It's helpful to a lot of people. It, it's sad to hear that he succumbed to uh, the fight he was in. But he helped a lot of people in a fight. And let me bring up something personal. <clears throat> the Power Rangers came out in the era that was big in gang violence at that time. And in some areas, gang violence was a thing. You know, people were making bad choices. Being a kid didn't necessarily feel like being a kid, depending on where you lived at. And for me... A good portion of why the Power Rangers aired... It didn't feel like being a kid. Um, so Power Rangers honestly kept me inside and kept me from being in a bunch of bullshit in my neighborhood. Because to be honest, all my neighborhood had was bullshit. You know, I became a child of TV at that moment. I was already a child of TV, but I really became one. And Power Rangers was a part of that. Telling me as the green... Ranger as the white ranger was a part of that. I'm so mad that I don't have I've been wanting Power Rangers gear for so long and I'm 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 pissed that it's gonna take him passing for me to really push and get some Power Rangers gear. Um Rest in peace to him. You know, rest in power to him. Um he fought a fight for a long time. I, I understand how depression is and everything. That, that, yeah. Yeah. I think we all appreciate the effort he put in in his own life just to be himself. And keep putting out material for Ranger fans. Thank you for that. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being in the fight thank you may the power protect him I will be uh, definitely watching the um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers this week I want to catch episodes with um, him and the other suits uh, it's, it's a lot of them I, did, I didn't see the later ones, I probably watched Power Rangers for like maybe the first six years, five years, I don't know. Um, nah, I was middle school, I didn't really watch in high school, so we'll say like the first four. So I definitely want to see some, uh, some of the later episodes where he was in different colors besides white and green. Oh my, I didn't catch those at all, so I definitely plan to watch those. I'm a post on the Instagram about those if you don't follow me on the Instagram it's the same name just the numbers 60 then to spell out TY second review and you're good to go and you can find me plus I'm obviously going to have posts about Jason the white and green ranger Jason David Frank Tommy passing <sighs> 
somber weekend, somber Monday. But if anything, hey, life is precious. I know we all hear this, live each day like your last. Really, just, just live. Just do your best. And sometimes, and understand when I say just do your best at life, sometimes your best it is just going to be you sleeping or laying around watching TV or, you know, sometimes your best isn't, oh, let me go climb the mountain and find energy. Hey, your best is one of every day to day. Sometimes the best you can do is get up, wash your behind, wash your sheets and lay back down in them. Your next day, your best may be cleaning the house and getting some other stuff done. Hey, it is what it is. Just do your best. Be honest with yourself. Do your best. We can become whatever we want. The Power Rangers were still the Power Rangers even when they morphed. They just got a boost in ability and power that they already had. You remember Billy couldn't fight. And when he transformed, he still couldn't fight. He was just stronger. You want to be more, you got to be more. You decide what your best is. As I said, do your best. You decide what that is. You can increase your best if you so choose to. It won't be easy because nothing in life is easy. Sometimes it sucks being in a fight. (laughs) And it's literally the fight for your life. That nobody can fight for you. Sometimes it feels like you're losing that fight. Do your best. Hopefully you knowing that other people are in that fight. Help you feel like you're not alone in that. Then know that you're not the only one in it. A lot of us are in a fight of some kind. Some of us have been in that fight for years. Some of us been in it for months, days. Some of us been in it since birth. (laughs) That's so not funny. Because it fucking sucks. And it's draining. But it's a fight. You keep fighting. I keep fighting. We'll all keep fighting. One of the things I liked about the Power Rangers is they were real quick to help people they didn't even know. And that's when they're not in costume. It's just regular teenage high schoolers that were so active in their community. They were so active with helping complete strangers and everything. Like that show showed what should be the best of humanity. What should have been teenagers that would become great adults that also decided to fight to save lives of essentially the world. We're all in a fight. You keep fighting. I'll keep fighting. Bearded Hokage. 60 second review. Rest in peace, Tommy.